All right, guys, we are out here at Bradenton and it is the last race of the summer. It is very bittersweet um, because they are shutting the track down to do some renovations on the track, the track surface, the, the facility, all kinds of good things. So they're putting up some bleachers and they're gonna redo the track surface. So they're gonna be closed for the summer, which is fine because it's hot and it's rainy season, but um, this is gonna be the last event. So very sad, big sad, but it'll be back sooner and better. It'll be back very soon and better than ever. All right, guys, it is time to give a shout out to our sponsor for this video, Aura Frames. You guys have heard me talk about them a bunch and with Father's Day coming up, it is time to talk about them again. Get your loved one the gift of a beautiful Aura frame. It's not just one picture, it's thousands of pictures and you can upload them, give them the frame, and then they just plug it in and it goes from there. You can add to it as you please right from your phone. You don't have to fumble around with pain in the butt apps or things that don't work right. The hardware and software works seamlessly in these frames. I got one right here in the box, ready to go to my loved one. I got one behind me right here. I got my dogs on there. Look at that. You can flip through it as you please. Keep the dogs on there. I got photos of me and Bronte on here. I got photos of the cars on here and I can just turn around and look at it whenever I'm, uh, you know, feeling the need to see some loved ones. So with my link, you guys can get a discount on your Aura frames. Get them now because Father's Day is coming up, but they make just a great gift overall. Birthday, anniversary, present, Father's Day, anything. Get yourself one. They're really easy to use. The directions are super straightforward. You guys will not be disappointed. Very high quality stuff. Great partner for the channel. So go check them out. Let's get to the video. So really pumped about that, but we decided to bring Chip out. Bronte, you're hard parked, looking. I'm what? You're like hard parked the car and you standing next to it. Like you're what? looking like you're gonna call somebody out for a drag race. Yeah. But we decided to come out here, do some uh, racing. There's an event going on, Street Heat, and we haven't made it out to any of these really. So decided to come out. They do roll racing and then they do drag racing. And guess what? We got two tech cards. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the R word. Not the R word you're thinking of. I'm gonna say roll racing. It's the R word, it's the, it's the bad one. <laughs> We're gonna try it. Let's see how Chip does in some roll racing. I'm hoping, right, you know, it can just. Get started with roll racing. So if you're roll racing tonight, make your way to Let's changing go. lanes one and two. And That's rude, I was talking. Let's go. Yeah, you're gonna help it. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's Oh yeah, fresh shirts are on the website. These ones right here, CB, the They're yellow so and blue. Cool. Untested, over budget and out of time. They came uh, out so good. Hold on, let me give a close up. pretty accurate. Yep. yep, such a good shirt. Pretty standard. Get those shirts, cooperbogay.com. They came out so good, but we're gonna go out. Check it out. Do some roll racing. Let's go, Chip. Let this tech boy get lost in the top of there and I ain't gonna worry about 
the pace car lane. Everybody was lining up into the don't want to be the pace car lane. So I just said, I'll do it. Um, I'm sure some of you guys will say you could put a, a phone or something as your speedometer. And I could. I could. Thank you. It's, it's a plug in the exhaust for an O2 sensor. And it always backs out. I don't need it this second. No, I have to lay under the car. Lost. That's okay. That happens. Yeah, we need to find somebody to race. Yeah. Like a, a specific other human that wants to line up with me okay. in a friendly race. Right. Is it weird that I kind of want to race that Toyota Camry? I want to watch a couple, see how fast other people go. Okay. I don't know anything about this. Yeah. How fast did the Tesla go? 151. Yeah, but he started at 51. I started at 40. Oh. Yeah, you're supposed to start at 40 miles an hour. Yeah. And let me just say, without any speedometer or anything, I nailed it 40.7. <laughs> <laughs> and he has the most high-tech car and a speedometer and he couldn't even do it. <laughs> All right, round two. You ready? We're, ra we're racing that Corvette right there. Volvo's up here. I know. You think you got this? Um, no. <laughs> Like right on him. He went 123. That's what you went the last I know. time. But he started at 48 miles an hour. I started at 41 just now. Okay. So he was already going faster, eight yeah. miles an hour faster than me when we started. Yeah. And I lifted at the end because the car was getting a little warm. It was like 200 degrees when I pulled up there. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me just not run this completely out the back door. Okay. But then when we were door to door, my brain went to race mode a little bit. <laughs> Or my male genitals went to, I need to win this <laughs> mode. Well, we almost had them. Yeah, so I'm going to let the car cool down a little bit. Yeah. And then we'll see some of our friends, and then we'll go back up and race some more. Lining up with a Supra. Lane, outside, Supra. Right, Supra Baghetti, Ford Mustang. So he was at 58 miles an hour, I was at 56. 
but I, I gunned it at the last second. He was like, just right into it. You do not start at 58 miles an hour. And I wasn't planning on going that fast, but when I saw him just like wide open, just, I don't know. I guess um, I don't understand roll racing that well. All right, I beat the Cam Caprice and I went my fastest mile an hour, 125, still lifting at the end. Um, I didn't see the mile an hour. Um, I went 125, he went 112. I started at 53 miles an hour, which is still a little fast. He started at 48, but I was trying to trail him. So I was just off a little bit in mile an hour. The confusing of roll racing. I've never been so confused drag racing. I've never been at the racetrack and so confused in my life. Coop's hot lavender again. He must be hyped after that last pass. Let's see what Chip can yeah, do. It's so funny because everyone was saying like, oh my god, Shelby, the full meat and potatoes. Look at that thing. Pretty nice. GT500. Ain't no match for what I got. Alright, I should let this thing cool down a little bit. I just did, what, four hot laps in a row? Good car. Good car. Oil pressure is starting to drop just a little bit. But hey, good car. I'll say it, roll racing is great for, for if you test and tune guys want to come out and get a lot of laps in. If you want to just keep going and racing, like there's not really, it's not slow moving like drag racing, as much as I hate to say that to my baby, drag racing, it's not as slow moving. It's, it's pretty quick moving. Here you go. Thank you. No problem. So we started at basically exactly the same mile an hour and he went 121, I went 123, but I was faster getting there. Like I, I definitely was out in front of him. So now let's let this thing cool down a little bit and we'll make a couple drag racing hits. Once the, uh, once it gets a little cooler out as the sun starts to set. Also, I just want to say guys, it was supposed to be a hurricane today. So yeah, I mean, that's what a Florida hurricane looks like. Crazy, I know. It was a 1042 of 124. Okay. The water in the ice tank's a little hot, but it did a 145 60 foot, so that was good. Good. Um, yeah, but I mean, it did for, a little wheelie. It did, yeah. I pulled, I pulled up the wheel yeah, a, little a little bit. bit. Yeah. I mean, so the goal really is to just stress test this car as mm -hmm. much as possible. Yeah. And it's been passing them pretty well. Yeah. So I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. We're going to put a lot of ice in it and then go up again all right. in a few minutes. Let's do it. Car's been doing good all night. Yeah, it has been. It's got a lot of hits. After all the it went down the track a bunch. Yeah, it did. <laughs>
the track's going away a little bit. Maybe um, in the groove, maybe too yeah, much. Yeah, maybe I was in a, the wrong spot in the groove. Maybe it's just making so, a little bit more power now because the air is cool and mm. I put a bunch of ice in mm -hmm. it. I did a lot of burnout though. I was freaking. Yeah, you did. I it wasn't the like the smoking most. a lot. No, no these wasn't. tires are pretty shot. Yeah. They're actually. No, but it was a good burnout. The guy that I raced, these are his old tires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He went seven on. Yeah. I didn't really race him. He just kind of drove out on my life. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah. Um, pretty good night at the track though. Yeah. Didn't break anything. Uh, no. Made a lot of roll. Made a lot of passes. Yeah. Um, well, you made seven. Yeah, a lot of passes. <laughs> Cooper's usually two and done. Yeah, well, you know. Seven. That just... is a record for testing. Yeah, roll racing, <laughs> you can just keep going. Yeah. There's no, like, down, like, I didn't have to unstrap, I didn't have to do anything. I haven't checked tire pressure in even once yeah. since I've been here. But it is what it is. Um, hey, really just rolling with it. Yeah, uh, that was the last pass of the night, though. Yeah. They said, uh, staging lanes are closed so we're gonna load up and head on home um that's gonna do it though guys thank you for watching keep it saucy i'll see you next time we're pretty much dead even so this car in a roll race is as fast